he crossed to the bright side, avoiding the loose cellar flap of number 75. The sun was nearing the steeple of George's church. Be a warm day, I fancy. Especially in these black clothes, feel it more. Black conducts, reflects, refracts as if the heat. But I couldn't go in that light suit. Make a picnic out of it. He approached Larry O'Rourke's. From the cellar grating floated up the flabby gush of porter. Through the open doorway, the bar squirted out whiffs of ginger, tea dust, biscuit mush. Good house, however, just the end of the city traffic. For instance, Macaulay's down there, NG as a physician. Of course, if they ran a tram line along the North Circular from the cattle market to the Keys, value would go up like a shot. <laughs> Bald head over the blind. Cute old codger. No use canvassing him for an ad. Still, he knows his own business best. There he is, sure enough, me belled Larry, leaning against the sugar bin in his shirt sleeves, watching the apron curate swab up with mop and bucket. <laughs> Simon Dedalus takes him off to a tea, with eyes screwed up. Do you know what I'm going to tell you? What's that, Mr. O'Rourke? Do you know what? The Russians. They'd only be an eight o'clock breakfast for the Japanese. Stop and say a word. About the funeral, perhaps. Sad thing about poor digna Mr. O'Rourke. Turning into Dorset Street, he said freshly in greeting through the doorway, Good day, Mr. O'Rourke. Good day to you. Lovely weather, sir. Oh, tis all that. Where did they get the money? Common up red-headed curates from the county Leitrim. Rinse and empties an old man in the cellar. Then, lo and behold, they blossom out as Adam Finlaters or Dan Talons. Then think of the competition. General Thirst. <laughs> Good puzzle would be to cross Dublin without passing a pub. Save it, they can't. Off the drums, perhaps. Put down three and carry five. What's that? A bob here and there, dribs and drabs. On the wholesale orders, perhaps. Doing a double shuffle with the town travellers. Square with the boss, and we'll split the job, see? He halted before Blue Gas's window, staring at the hanks of sausages, polonies, black and white. Fifty multiplied by... The figures whitened in his mind, unsolved. Displeased, he let them fade. The shiny links, packed with force meat, fed his gaze, and he breathed in tranquilly the lukewarm breath of cooked spicy pig's blood. A kidney oozed blood gouts on the willow pattern dish, the last. He stood by the next door girl at the counter. Would she buy it too? Calling the items from a slip in her hand, chapped washing soda. And a pound and a half at any sausages. His eyes rested on her vigorous hips. Woods, his name is. Wonder what he does. Wife is oldish. Near blood. No followers allowed. Strong pair of arms. Whacking a carpet on the clothesline. She does whack it by George, the way her crooked skirt swings at each whack. The ferret-eyed pork butcher folded the sausages he had snipped off with blotchy fingers. Sausage pink. Sound meat there like a stole-fed heifer. He took up a page from the pile of cut sheets. The model farm at Kinnereth on the lake shore of Tiberias can become ideal winter sanatorium. Moses Montefiore. I thought he was. Farmhouse wall rounded, blurred cattle cropping. He held the page from him. Interesting. Read it nearer. The blurred cropping cattle. The page rustling. A young white heifer. Those mornings in the cattle market. The beasts lowing in their pens, branded sheep, flop and fall of dung. The breeders in hobnail boots trudging through the litter, slapping a palm on a ripe meat at hindquarters. There's a prime one. Unpeeled switches in their hands. He held the page aslant, patiently, bending his senses and his will, his soft subject gaze at rest. The crooked skirt, swinging whack by whack by whack. The pork butcher snapped two sheets from the pile, wrapped up her prime sausages, and made a red grimace. Now, my miss, he said. She tendered a coin, smiling boldly, holding her thick wrist out. Thank you, my miss, and one shilling truppence change. For you, please. Mr. Bloom pointed quickly to catch up and walk behind her as she went slowly, behind her moving hands. Pleasant to see first thing in the morning. Hurry up, damn it. Make hay while the sun shines. She stood outside the shop in sunlight and sauntered lazily to the right. He sighed down his nose. They never understand. Soda-chapped hands. Crusted toenails, too. 
brown scapulars and tatters defending her both ways. The sting of disregard glowed to weak pleasure within his breast. For another, a constable off duty cuddled her a necklace lane. They liked them sizable. Prime sausage. Oh, please, Mr. Policeman, I'm lost in the wood. Uh, Truppence, please. His hand accepted the moist, tendered land and slid it into his side pocket. Then it fetched up three coins from his trousers' pocket and laid them on the rub of prickles. They lay, were read quickly, and quickly slid disc by disc into the till. Thank you, sir. Another time. A speck of eager fire from fox eyes thanked him. He withdrew his gaze after an instant. No, better not. Another time. Good morning, he said, moving away. Good morning, sir. No sign. Gone. What matter? He walked along Dorset Street, reading gravely. Agendath Natayim, mm. Planters Company. To purchase vast sandy tracts from Turkish government and plant with eucalyptus trees, excellent for shade, fuel, and construction. Orange groves and immense melon fields north of Jaffa. You pay eight marks, and they plant a dunum of land for you with olives, oranges, almonds, or citrons. Olives cheaper. Oranges need artificial irrigation. Every year you get a sending of the crop. Your name entered for life as owner in the Book of the Union. Can pay ten down, and the balance in yearly installments. Blei Traubstrasse, 34, Berlin, W15. Nothing doing. Still, an idea behind it. Folding the page into his pocket, he turned into Eccles Street, hurrying homeward. Number 80 still on let. Why is that? Valuation is only 28. Towers, Battersby, North, MacArthur. Parlour windows plastered with bills. Plasters on a sore eye. To smell the gentle smoke of tea, fume of the pan, sizzling butter. Be near her ample, bed-warmed flesh, yes, yes. Quick warm sunlight came running down Berkeley Road, swiftly in slim sandals along the brightening footpath. Runs, she runs to me, a girl with gold hair on the wind. 